it is three full-time jobs. Being a mother is a full-time job. Being an artist is a full-time job. Being a professor is a full-time job. So which job are you not going to do very well? <laughs> the truth with any kind of history. Whoever the victor is gets to tell the story, but who's the one that gets to make it? History. And then history creates identity. Documentary is a weird word because you think of it as this factual story, but photography isn't factual at all, no matter how you're taking it, it never is. It's always the person making the image that has the control. To me, documentary is my idea. It's what I see. And what I document is the American experience. That's what I'm interested in. It's called uh, Tending Fires and Other Useful Skills. Well, I went through a lot of different ideas and I ended up at Jamestown taking still pictures. But then I thought, wow, what if they moved? So I decided to do it in video in uh, history museums. There are a lot of dioramas. And so I kind of think of them as each one of them is sort of their own diorama. They're frozen in time. Uh, but then as things move, I think it kind of points to the fluidity of history, that history is different with every generation. And, that blue sky goes home. and when I moved here to Norfolk, I think it was about the beginning of Liberty Tax Service, which is a fairly new company. So I started seeing these people dressed as Lady Liberty on the sidewalk, and I thought, wow and looking at the types of people and thinking about the job and who would have this job. So I used a little bit of a low angle for all of them, so I was looking up to them. I did them all on the same kind of day, so that uh, cloudy, stormy, so that they all had sort of the same palette and the same feel to them. I asked the person to pose, not as an employee, but to, to pick a stance and an expression um, that they felt proud of. I, I think it looks kind of like a backdrop of the urban street corner versus the Lincolns, which is sort of this pastoral background. And they connected very personally with the uh, character of Abraham Lincoln, but it was something that they had the luxury of doing, like a hobby. Uh, whereas the, the Liberty Waivers, they're working on a minimum wage job. They're not doing it for a hobby, it's something that they have to do to survive. Being an artist is a tough thing because, I don't know, maybe not for everybody, but for me, constant doubt of yourself, constantly second-guessing yourself. I remember when my first book came out and I was about seven months pregnant with my second child and In Search of the Corn Queen came out and I opened the box and I was like, and I took it out and I remember I just kind of held it and then I, I didn't leave my house for like two days because I felt raw. I was like an uncooked egg. It was something that I had put so much of my gut into it, my heart, my time. And then suddenly it wasn't just my thing that nobody else had to see. Everybody could see it. At least you never leave me alone. Because I am married to a photographer, someone that I really respect his work very much, and he is probably my biggest source of feedback. 
you know. So I pull in and then I noticed these things. It was like a little, you know, funky motel and I was like, oh, this is cool. So I took some pictures and then drove like 80 miles away and went, hmm, <laughs> that would really be a lot better if I had a person in it. So I turned around and drove eight After miles. After driving. <laughs> <laughs> so I drove back and this guy had his door open like this and I was like, do you think I could take your picture? And he just started crying basically you can see he can hardly move he's on mm -hmm. oxygen I, so I said I you know I'll come back in an hour because the light was bad and I went and I thought about it and I get really sad so I bought him some groceries and went back and gave him you know handed the groceries into the door and I'm like do you think it could come out a little bit and he just when he goes what you see is what you get I'm practically dead in here that's really sad I know yeah, but that's part of photography, you know? What do my students need from me? How can I support them in the way that I would want my child to be supported? So I try to push everybody really hard. I don't let up on them. Well, I did have somebody say to me a couple semesters ago, you're not my mother, <laughs> which I thought was really funny. But you know, I mean, he was kind of acting like he needed to go to his room. So I guess I was acting like his mother. Everybody has got such interesting stories and I'm always really excited to hear them, but it's not like I want to hang out and be best friends with anybody. You share something when you take pictures um, of people and spend time with them like that. You share something really kind of intense. And I think looking into somebody's eyes, there's just sort of like this vast undiscovered territory. There's always some, a deeper place that you can go, more you can get to know. Where we stood in that parking lot, those were the moments I felt most alive.